What's up, Superhero Superman Adam on Hunter here. Today is Monday, November 1st, 2021. Happy November. The first thing I want to do before I say anything else is I really want to apologize for the fact that I really wasn't all that consistent throughout October. I only posted two videos in October. I just actually just realized that. I posted a video on the 12th, which was about the time I drank cologne, and then I posted a slide sh that slideshow video on the 16th. Now, in the video where I told the story about the time I drank cologne. I said that I was gonna tell a story of the time I got this bump on my head. I was gonna do that video the next day. That video was three weeks ago and I still haven't told the story, but here I am to tell it today. And luckily I still have pictures from the day that this happened. So I'm gonna be showing those in, the, in this video as well. So this happened December 3rd, 2015. So December 3rd, 2015. Um, 2015 was the year that we had just moved into this apartment complex that I live in today. We've lived here for, we've now lived here for six years. At the time that this happened, we had just moved in. We had lived here for April to December, May, June, July, August. We had lived here for seven months at the time that this happened. So it was just starting to get cold outside and things were freezing over and it was getting really cold on most days. This day I remember was very cold for some odd reason, which was weird because it wasn't even winter yet. But I woke up in the morning, I went to school, went about my day, did what I had to do, and the day seemed fine. I went home, nighttime came, I decided I wanted to go take a shower. So I'm in the shower and I'm cleaning myself, doing my thing, and I've always used liquid soap. I've never liked using bar soap. I'll use bar soap if I have to, but when it comes down to it, I mostly like liquid soap. So, I'm using the liquid soap, I'm scrubbing myself, cleaning what needs to be cleaned, doing my thing, and I start to slip. And they've always said that the worst thing to do when you start slipping is to try to stop yourself from falling. Well, my initial reaction was to stop myself from falling, and I fucked myself. Because immediately, my foot slips out from underneath me, I fall forward, and I smack my head on the metal faucet. Now, you guys know sink faucets and bathtub faucets, those things are made of hard, compressed metal. They are hard as shit and I smacked my head on it. So, I'm like, in a daze at this point, I didn't lose consciousness. I didn't knock myself unconscious or anything like that. But, I do, I do think I blacked out for a few seconds and then came to, because then I heard my mom coming in asking me if I was okay. Then my dad came in a few seconds later. And I didn't even know what was happening. All I know is they're looking at my head and they're like, oh, fuck. And they're like, go to your room, get dressed. We got to go to the emergency room. And I'm asking like, why, what's happening? And they're like, don't worry about it. Go to your room, get dressed. We have to go to the emergency room now. <laughs> so I'm in my room, I'm getting dressed. And I'm thinking to myself, why do we have to go to the emergency room right now? Mind you, at this point, I still have no idea what just happened. I finally, um, coming around and realizing what's going on, I get up, I go to the bathroom, I look at myself in the mirror, and I see this bump on my head literally out to here. It's like ginormous. I'm going to go ahead and show the pictures now. It's not terrible. But they are pretty graphic, so if you don't like graphic stuff, 
Here's your warning, look away now. I have three pictures of this. Here they are. So those are the pictures that I have of the bump on my head. Now that was the night, excuse me, that was the night that everything happened. That was the lump. Now at this time, I had had perfect attendance in school. And I thought they were gonna tell me to miss school because they've done that before. They've told, I've been to that emergency room oh, many times throughout my life and they've always told me whether I was sick or injured, like his best bet is to maybe stay home from school tomorrow. Now, this was during my junior year of high school and I had perfect attendance. I had not missed a single day during the year at this point. So I was worried that this was gonna mess up my perfect attendance record. And I actually started crying in the hospital because I was worried that they were gonna tell me that I couldn't go to school. But surprisingly, they said that everything was fine. There was no um, trauma to my head. It was just a contusion and that the lump would go away after a while. It actually, it didn't even really hurt that bad. When, he, when I thought about it, it was almost like it wasn't even there. But when I asked, will I be able to go to school tomorrow? They said yes. So the next day I went to school with the giant lump on my head. That's the story of the time I almost knocked myself unconscious. Thank you guys for watching. If you like subscribe, please do. If you don't want to, of course you don't have to. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for always tuning in. I'm gonna think of a good story to tell for the next video, I don't know, what's a good, I've already told so many of my stories, I don't, I don't know what stories to tell anymore, because I've already told so many good ones. Let me think here, wow. I mean, I've already told so many good stories, I don't know which ones to tell anymore. I told the story about cologne. I told the story about the bump on my head. I told the story about my broken collarbone, my broken arm, my back surgery. I told that story. I told the story about my friend having to get stitches under his chin. I've already told so many good stories. I don't know which stories to tell anymore. I'll think of something and, oh, I, I, I know a good one. And it's, um, it's one of my more um, personal stories, but you know, I, I share everything with you guys. So that'll be for tomorrow's video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.